Tonight, two men accused in that random shooting spree in North Tulsa are behind bars. Jake England and Alvin Watts will both likely be charged with three counts of first-degree murder and two counts of shooting with intent to kill. They appeared in court today through a video link from the jail. Prosecutors have set bond at nearly $10 million. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the two survivors of that shooting spree. One of them was standing on his own front porch in North Tulsa when he says a stranger opened fire. Two News reporter Patricia Santos is live in North Tulsa tonight. Well, Karen, Dion Tucker tells me he was shot on the shoulder, and he tells me after this incident, he doesn't hold a grudge. His friend, however, David Hall, is still in the hospital. Now, he was too weak to speak to us today, but his friends, his very close friends, spoke to us on his behalf. He had got shot, and I was just kind of concerned about him. You know, and then after then, they said people started getting shot around town. So I didn't really know what to think at the time. Kent and Waylon Johnson were surprised to hear their longtime friend David Hall was one of the shooting spree victims. I thought, well, some, you know, somebody went crazy out there riding around shooting. Hall and Dion Tucker were standing outside this front porch when Tucker says two men in a pickup truck began shooting at them. A bullet pierced Tucker's shoulder. Hall was shot in the stomach. He's in good spirits right now. He's sitting there talking. We're laughing, you know. So he's, he's doing all right. These friends say they're more concerned about Hall's recovery at this time and have only briefly discussed the motive behind this random shooting. We didn't ever discuss that. <sighs> he didn't, he, you know, he didn't like he was mad or anything. He just, you know, kind of wonder why. Tucker is now recovering at home and says he was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, Hall tells me over the phone that he expects to be released from the hospital later this week. Live in North Tulsa, Patricia Santos, Sue News, works for you. Patricia, thanks. Now, friends of Jake England are shedding light on what may have sparked the shooting spree. Two News reporter Casey Roebuck live at the jail tonight with more on that story. Casey? Well, Russ, the Willis family has known the England family for decades, and they say race had nothing to do with the attacks. I just think he... He's a young man, and he just wasn't thinking. Ella Willis has lived next door to the England family home for two generations. She says the Jake England she knows wasn't racist. I just hate to see it go down like this, and I hate to see it be turned the other way. Of course, uh, voices of authority think they just got it, you know, nailed the nail on the head. I just don't feel that way. 19-year-old Jake was friends with her son Aaron. Aaron says Jake and Alan Watts were at their home on Saturday as police were searching for the men. He says before the pair fled, Alvin Watts made a stunning confession. I asked him why he was running, and then he told me that he was running because the police was coming, and I didn't understand why he was running from the police. Then other guy said I shot five people. Early the next morning, Aaron says police came to his home to look for the murder weapon. Before I put two and two together, the police was already over here in my yard. He says they found a gun hidden near a shed that butts up against the England property. Aaron and his mother say the racial slurs on Jake's Facebook profile sadden them because they say that doesn't sound like the young man they know. You know what happened to them people didn't have to happen to him. You know, he went, he, I guess he just went off, you know, after hearing the people that, you know, what happened to his dad. <laughs> They didn't, they didn't get charged, so and I guess he just snapped. Two years ago, Jake's father was shot and killed in front of him at the Comanche Park Apartments. The suspect, who was black, was never charged because the case was ruled self-defense. Earlier this year, England's fiance and mother of his newborn son committed suicide in their home. I just feel like he was so hurt with the way his life was, you know, he snapped. Now, family and friends tell me that Jake himself is Native American and that several members of his family are actually biracial, so they too don't believe racism was the motive. Reporting live in downtown, Casey Roebuck, 2 News, works for you. Casey, thanks. Now, prosecutors tell us that the investigation in the shooting continues, and Tulsa County District Attorney Tim Harris says if the evidence points to a hate crime, he will file that charge.